This video is recorded in 2023 as a job aid for the GISS workflow. It will cover how to export the wildfire daily fire perimeter to the Progression Geodatabase to capture a record of the perimeter at a certain point in time. These perimeter exports are used to create the progression map. It's good habit to select the perimeter that you want to export. There may be auto-generated Irwin triangles or other fire perimeters in your offline copy. Or you might be using the other polygon feature to store data. Selecting the fire perimeter ensures only that feature will be exported to the Progression Geodatabase. If you're on a complex, you can include all of the fire perimeters in the complex. You don't need to export them individually. Right-click the Event Polygon Feature layer, hover over Data, and select Export Features. Use the GeoOps File Namer spreadsheet to name the feature class export. In the Edit Incident Data section, input the date and time that the wildfire daily fire perimeter was collected in this case, August 5th at 2000. The incident data type is Perim. Descriptions of those data types can be found on the drop-down option tables tab. The file type is feature class, which makes this my perimeter export name. Copy the file name, browse to the progression geodatabase at the root of the incident data folder. Paste the file name and save. Click OK to export the perimeter. If the output is added to the contents pane, remove it. We don't need it in the edit project. As we've reached the end of the edit incident data portion of the workflow, it's important to remember to sync to ensure edits to the offline copy get pushed to the National Incident Feature Service and any new edits from others get pulled down into the offline copy. On the Map tab of the ribbon in the offline section, click Sync. 